Hello, and welcome to A Few Minutes with Marvin. I inspire those who aspire to make positive changes in their lives. And in this video, I want to discuss the F word, the four letter F word. Oh, were you thinking about that other four letter F word? Well, <laughs> sorry to, to disappoint you, uh, but fear. And Fear has been a part of our entire lives from the, from the time we were born. Here we were in our mother's bellies having a great old time, can eat when we wanted to, can stretch and yawn and kick. You know, life was amazing. We were kings in that belly. You know, we had it all to ourselves. Comfort, food, protection, warmth. You know, it was all good. But then... The water breaks and we're boom we're lost at sea now we come out into uncharted territory out of our comfort zones and boom instantly first thing we fear is fear and you know we go through our lives you know having fear you know just be present in our lives in every aspect I was raised in a very religious household uh, you know from a young age and the fear that was instilled from there, oh, you know, if you do this, you're going to hell. If, if you do this, you're a sinner. Do this, don't do that. Um, you know, if, if you don't fear God, you know, the devil's going to, you know, take you away or you know, whatever. You know, it was, in hindsight, to me, silly. You know, it may not seem silly to you now, but um, it just, it's silly. <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest about it. It's silly. Um, but it's real and the fear has been there all your life school you had the school bullies you know you were afraid to raise your hand um, you were afraid to be judged by others you were afraid you know because you were unique and you know and in, and in, in home you know how you were treated at home you know if you did something wrong you were fear in fear of getting yelled at you know in my days getting spanked nowadays getting put in time out it's all fear related um so it's it's no it's no wonder that it's it's such a part of our lives and it's all for the most part subcon subconscious and the reality is that everything everything boils down to fear everything is based out of fear worry doubt um unhappiness um what else death the, the fear of death, oh my God, it's it's gripping. Um, the fear of success, the fear of failure, because uh, there is a fear of success. You know, people limit themselves. You know, in that in that regard. Um, the, you know, just anything you can possibly imagine, all comes from fear. So, how can we possibly move past it? when it's such a part of our lives and it's been there from day one of our birth. It's not possible, right? Well, like anything else, everything is possible. It's just how much work are you willing to put in? You know, and it's all mental and emotional work. It's not easy. And guess what? That's okay. It's not meant to be easy. You know, it's meant to make us who we're going to be or who we're supposed to be in this now moment, in this lifetime. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. Right now. So let me go over the five ways that I've conquered fear. Uh, because you know, fear is ever present. And, you know, although I don't project that I have fear, subconscious, subconsciously, there are some fears there. Um, but there's a difference in how I handle uh, those emotions and feelings. And I, I'll go that I'll get to that in a minute. So, you know, the first way to conquer fear is to recognize it. And again, it can come in the form of anger, sadness, a mood swing, um, just 
a test. Like, you know, why am I being tested? You know, that's, that's a fear. So the first thing is to recognize it. All right, there's something here. Yeah, I can identify it or label it as, as sadness right now. But why am I sad? Okay, I'm sad. I recognized it. What next? The second, you know, uh, step, once you recognize that it's there and you, you, you allow it to be there. Okay, tears are flowing. All right, let's, 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 let's let these tears flow. You know, get through it. Just allow it to be there. Let it go through me. I recognize it. I know it's a fear. What you know, we, you know, I've, I've, I, you know, I've identified it. It's sadness. It's, it's lack. It's worry. It's pessimism. It's judgment. Whatever it is, I know what it is now. I allow it to be there. Let me embrace it. Okay. Let me get you know. Just let it be there. Let it wash through me. And the third way to conquer fear is to understand it now that you received it and allowed it to be there now understand it engage with it why are you here why why am i sad let's go deep you know what triggered this emotion this fear and really you know you can have a dialogue with yourself you know hey sadness <laughs> why why are you here what, what triggered this? Why am I sad? Do I need to be sad? Am I sad for myself? Am I sad for someone else? Why am I sad? And, you know, let whatever thought comes in, come in. There may be an answer there for you. So, that's number three. Number four, accept it and embrace it. Again, okay, I'm sad. I'm here. I allowed it. I understand it. I'm owning it right now in this moment. Not allowing it to control me, but I'm letting it be here. And I, I'm accepting that it's here and I'm embracing it so that I can move past it. You have to, you have to intend to move past it. You know, so you embrace it so that it becomes you. You integrate it. So that's that's a that's a big move. That that's really a part of the healing is to embrace it. And the fifth step to conquering fear is to release it. Yeah. Let it go. You know, let all those things come. Let it be there for a minute, embrace it, recognize it, understand it, then let it go, release it. Okay, I allowed myself to be sad. Then choose not to be sad, to release it and move on. And that can be easier said than done, but it can be done. You have to be willing to let it go. And it's going to take some time before you're able to do that. But allow yourself the time. Recognize it every time. And work through it. And then eventually it'll just be. One day you'll be having a bad day and go, okay, I understand I'm having a bad day. This is why I'm having a bad day. Let it go. Move on with the rest of my day. So... What, what kind of fears are you having? Why are you having these fears? I used to, you know, have a tremendous fear of death. I was scared to death of death. And I don't know where it came from. It could have been, you know, I was a horror movie guy. I, I loved watching scary movies and so much so that it came to the point that I was not scared of scary movies. They would make me laugh, actually. Um, sounds strange, doesn't it? But I think that was my way of working through my fear of death. Just laughing at it. 
to the point where it it just is. I, I, I accepted it. I embraced it. I'm going to die one day. And I'm okay with that. Because it's only this body that, that, that dies. It's not my soul. My soul lives on and has for who knows how long. So, fear is a control mechanism. We've been controlled through fear our entire lives. Isn't it time to take back control of your life? It can't be easy if you allow it to be. It just takes some work, like everything else. Repetition, recognition. You know, like I said, it's it's been with you your entire life. Then it come upon you yesterday. So you have to allow yourself the time to work through things. But first you have to recognize it. And you have to allow it. And you have to understand it. You have to accept and embrace it. And then you have to release it. Those are the uh, five ways to conquer fear. Because what is fear? Fear is a vibration. It's a frequency. Right? So, we're all frequencies, I've said in my other videos. So if you stay in that frequency of fear, you'll, you'll, it's impossible to get out of it. You have to change your frequency. So when fear is there, or sadness, or worry, or anger, again, go through the steps. Recognize it, allow it, understand it, embrace it. And then uh, let it go. And that'll change your frequency. You have to consciously change your frequency. You have to consciously remind yourself that everything is temporary and it's okay. And this too shall pass. And then change your mindset. Change the story. Change the ending. You have the power to do it. It's the power of thought. Think positive. Instead of being a pessimist, try to be an optimist. Whenever you're thinking of something bad's going to happen, change that. Go, no, I don't choose to have that experience. Because it's a choice. You can choose to be in fear, or you can choose not to be in fear. And only you have that, that power to do that. Others may think they have the power over you, or they, they try to enforce their will on you. You can simply say, no, I choose not to experience that and change your mindset and don't be afraid. Own it. You have the power to control the fear just by changing the frequency of it. Instead of looking at it as a bad thing, look at it as it was just there. It was an experience. I'm over it, past it, moving on. My life is amazing. I'm amazing. And I choose to stay in the frequency of love and light and peace and hope and optimism and confidence and in control. And you shall. So I hope you liked the contents of this video. If you did, please give it a like, share it, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment. I'd, I'd love to hear what, what you're in fear of because uh, it's, it's a real thing. And it's something that needs to be worked through. And you need to shift your frequency. So if uh, if I can be of help in that, that area to you, I am a transformational life coach. The details to my website are down below. Shoot me an email for a free 30-minute decompression session. I'd like to help you in whatever it is that's keeping you in a uh, fear freq frequency. So you can do it. I did it. Anybody can do it. It's just, you know, all you need to do is change your frequency and take back your power.
and have an amazing day.